We are going to reflect on the top 10 most memorable, outrageous stories from this past year. All right, are you ready for the countdown, everybody? At number 10, an outspoken mother named Hannah. You see, when Hannah worked at the local Burger King, she had a fast food fling with her coworker, Travis. And soon after that, Hannah found out she was pregnant with her son, Liam. So when she was six months pregnant, Hannah married another guy named Drake. In the case of five-month-old Liam, Drake, you are not the boss. And in the case of five-month-old Liam, Travis, you are not Coming in at number nine, it's a young mother named Mary who was battling an angry mother named Christy and Christy's teenage son, Cavell. You see, both Christy and Cavell were denying Mary's seven-month-old son, Zaire. It all started when Zaire was born and Christy felt the need to inspect her newborn grandson. She takes my baby. She just like flipping him around, just looking at the game. In the case of seven-month-old Zaire, Cavell, you are the father. Coming in at number eight, we have a feisty woman named Anna. You see, 12 years ago, Anna left Russia to come to the United States to live the American dream. Sadly, her dreams became a nightmare when Anna caught her boyfriend, Brady, referring to her as a foreign exchange student. <laughs> And not his girlfriend. Have you slept with any of the women who messaged you on Facebook? You said no. That was a lie. We are done. You hear me? We're done. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no sorry. Get away from me. You want to just break up? Apologize. We're done. Babe, We're stop. done. We're done. We're done. Anna sent us an update in Russian. And our hairstylist, Eugene, who speaks fluent Russian, yeah. is going to deliver the message. <laughs> So, Eugene, what did Anna say? Anna is свободна и готова к знакомству. Can you translate that for us? Maury, she's single and ready to mingle. All right. All right. Coming in at number seven, we have a woman named Judy and her partner, Scarlett. And we first met this couple when they came to prove to Judy's estranged husband, James, that he was not the father of Judy's daughter, Miracle. In the case of two-year-old Miracle, James, you are not. I told you! So Judy was right. And a month later, Judy and her now fiance Scarlett returned to prove to a man named Cody and his wife Jennifer that he was Miracle's dad. In the case of two year old Miracle, Cody, you are the father. Yes. Yes. And at number six, we have a fired up woman named Sharonda. Sharonda believed that her boyfriend, Sharoy, was having a secret affair with her best friend, Luana. Oh! And get this, Luana was Sharoy and Sharonda's current roommate. <laughs> During your relationship with Sharonda, have you ever lied about where you were because you were sleeping with another woman? You said no, that was a lie. <laughs> Have you ever slept with her best friend, Luana? You said no. That was a lie. Ah! Relationship, it. relationship, everything go. I see who really rock with me. Hey, Mari, it's your girl, Sharonda, and do I have news for you? First of all, I kicked Luanda out. Second of all, I broke up with Sharon. Thirdly, we got back together, and I got engaged. And we're down to number five. And we have a devoted mother named Erica. You see, we first met Erica when she came here to prove to her son, Juwan, and his wife, Stephanie, that Juwan was not the father of Stephanie's daughter, Justice. You see, not only was Stephanie furious with Erica's denials, Erica's own husband, Lenar, was on Stephanie's side. Take a look. In the case of four-year-old Justice, Juwan. You are the yeah! 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 So Erica was wrong, but you know, that did not stop her from returning one week later 
with her other son, Carlton. Oh. You see, Carlton was being accused by a woman named Casheray of fathering her son, Josiah. And once again, Erica was up in arms. Mm. And this time, by the way, her husband, Lenar, he was on her side. Yeah. In the case of four-month-old Josiah, Carlton, you are not. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. What? Number four, we have a scorned woman named Suzanne. Suzanne was here to prove to her ex-boyfriend, TJ, and his current girlfriend, Ashley, that TJ was the father of her son, Lorenzo. Now, Suzanne had been labeled a homewrecker by TJ and Ashley, but Suzanne insisted it was TJ who was secretly playing both of them at the same time. Watch. In the case of six-month-old Lorenzo, TJ, you are not... Hey, Maury, you'll never guess what happened after the show. DJ and Ashley broke up. Are you surprised? But the real shocker is TJ is stepping up and actually helping with Lorenzo. We're down to number three. It's a woman named Candace who was married to a man named Kyle. And not only was Kyle controlling and abusive, he was accusing her of being unfaithful. Kyle was so paranoid he felt the need to zip tie Candace to their bed oh. so she could not leave the house. So with the help of psychotherapist Dr. Tiffany Henry, we gave Candace a polygraph test in an effort to stop Kyle's abusive ways. Yeah. During your relationship with Kyle, have you had sexual contact of any kind with any other man? Candace, you said no, and the lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> So, I mean, we, we didn't leave it there. Uh, after the show, Kyle sat down with Vance Johnson. Vance is a former NFL wide receiver. He is a reformed abuser, and he tried to talk some sense into Kyle. How do you apologize for something like that? How do you apologize? Man, you get on your knees, man. And you say, honey, I love you. I apologize for how I've been treated. I just want you to forgive me, honey. I mean, I really do. I really do. Coming in at number two, we have three beautiful sisters, Leslie, Leanne, and Hope. Now, growing up, these ladies admit their lives were far from perfect because their father, Leonard, not only abandoned them, but he had serious doubts that all three of them were his biological children. Watch. In the case of 34-year-old Leanne, Leonard, you are the father. 33-year-old Hope, Leonard, you are the father. 32-year-old Leslie, Leonard, you are the father. How many years you hurt me? Go play. I tried. I can only say to Leanne, to Hope, to Leslie, and to you, Michelle, I am sorry. I now humbly sorry, I am sorry. The most memorable guest of 2019 goes to a special teen named Gracie. Here's what happened. When Gracie was 10 years old, she suffered a horrific accident that tore off the top of her scalp. And doctors used skin graft from her leg to repair her head, leaving her with a permanent bald spot. Were you scared about going back to school? I was scared, but part of me kind of hoped, you know, everybody knew about it, I would be accepted, and it was the complete opposite. Now you're going to get me. <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be good. It's going to be okay. We've got ends with maybe the best wig place in America. Okay. We're going to give you some top-notch hair pieces, okay? Hey, Maury, thank you so much for everything you did for me. You gave me the awesome wig that I wore on the show, and this is the second one you got me. I love this hair so much, and I feel like a new woman. 
I've been receiving so many compliments on my new look, and I owe it all to you. Thanks so much, Mari. Bye. No, thank you, Gracie. Uh, we are indebted to you, not you of us, all right? Because all of us wish you the best of New Year's. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Now, if you want to see more Mari content, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos.